Okay, I am going to try to do this as best I can. Um, this is the biggest social media platform that I'm going to have. I do have a group on Facebook um, called Makeup Skills and Chill. Um, and you can find me on Facebook uh, with my real name, which is Christine Thornton. Um, but I think I'm going to keep my YouTube as Kite Murray just just because it's easier to say, it's easier to find. Um, but this is going to be an unedited video because I am just starting out, obviously. I am a mom of four. I'm from Georgia. Um, I love makeup. I love, love everything about makeup. Beauty. I follow the beauty community for a long time now. Um, we are going to do some family videos on this channel, which I did start with, um, videos of my son, which you'll see them on my channel, videos of my son doing toy, um, reviews, which he absolutely loved to do. And he's actually a lot older now. He's 10 now. He, I think he was like four or five in those videos. I've had my channel for a while now. I just haven't gotten, gotten started doing what I need to do. And I'm so sorry if I keep looking to the side, but I can see my viewfinder. Um, so I'm going to try to get used to looking at exactly at the camera and talking to you guys straight forward. Um, until I can get a video editor, um, I just got to kind of move through the motions and do what I got to do and get this video done. I'm trying not to look over there and see myself and look at you guys. So um, anyway, like I said, I'm a mom of four um, and I'm going to do my makeup today. Um, I'm going to use all the normal things I usually use. I, I love drugstore, um, but I also have some high-end things, but... I'm going to try to stick to my drugstore things because I feel like with moms and most of the people who will relate to me, um, we have a hard time, you know, getting, getting makeup that's expensive because we have to take care of our kids. We have to take care of our babies. So the first thing I'm going to use today is one of my favorite primers. Two of my favorite primers. They're by Hard Candy. The first one is the Stick It To Your Pores. This is for people who are oily and it's a pore filler. Um, it's the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Stick It To Your Pores Mattifying Pore Primer Stick. Oh my goodness, the longest name ever. And this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick. This is just to kind of keep the rest of my face um, from getting disgusting and nasty. And my children have put their teeth and hands and lips and everything all over this. So it's kind of disgusting. I kind of do this on the outer rim of my face. Um... And then I do the uh, pore filling one on the inner T-zone of my face because that's where I usually get oily and sticky and nasty. Um, so, and I don't really rub in the pore one. I kind of just stick it to my pores and let it fill. Let me use my little mirror right here. Let it fill itself. Um, so like I said, I'm from Georgia. I have four kids. My oldest is 10. My youngest is seven months. Um, my I have three boys and one girl. My youngest is my girl. Uh, we have lived in Georgia our whole lives, obviously. Um, I love it here. Um, we've been through hard times, and I've always wanted to do YouTube. Like, I've always thought, you know, oh, wow, yeah, I really love it. And now that the beauty community has kind of gotten into a... I guess a slump you would say because when I first started watching the beauty community um, my favorites were like everybody's favorites um, oh my foundation I'm using is gonna be the Milani um, conceal and perfect two-in-one I, I still use concealer even though it's supposed to be two-in-one I still use concealer um, just for the pure fact that I like to be full coverage um, then this is full coverage I'd say but um, and it oxidizes it's not gonna stay this white but anyway I've been watching the beauty community since I'd say 2013 2013 um, and you know you know who the big people were then uh, Laura Lee, Manny MUA, of course I still watch Jeffree Star, I still watch Manny's videos, I still watch Laura's videos, they're just not as big because they've all been through scandals, everybody's been through rough times, Jacqueline Hill, um, I even watch, some, they're, not, they're not as big, but I still feel like they're big enough to mention Thomas Halbert, um, of course Nikki Tutorial, she's still big, um, 
and I've gotten into a lot of smaller ones too. So I love the beauty community. I love keeping up with them. Jaclyn Hill, of course, with that scandal. I mean, James Charles, all the regular people you would usually watch on YouTube. I I enjoy watching them. I've learned so so much about makeup from them and I was never really into makeup when I was younger I was a tomboy I loved skateboarding and hanging out with my guy friends and going outside to play and like uh, climbing trees and getting in fights like I was not a girly girl and then I got older and I discovered YouTube and like I discovered the beauty community and and how great it was when it first started how everybody was not just out for themselves and for money but it was more of like creating and coming together and and making this beautiful community that like everybody shared a common interest and now it's like challenges and everybody just wants to get views and it's about clout and that's not what I'm here for. I I want to show what I can do, of course. Like, I love doing what I do when I, I paint my face. Beat my face is what my son says. Um, you know, he knows all the lingo because he also watches YouTube. Um, he's big into Fortnite, which I'm going to try to get some of his Fortnite gameplay on here, too. We don't want to be, like, boxed in to a certain type of channel. I wanna be able to include my kids. I want my kids to be able to do things like we're gonna make Kool-Aid popsicles on this channel and um, do some cool stuff, maybe some science projects and stuff. Again, that was the Milani. Um, I, I don't know what color I'm in. Let, let's see what color I'm in. I'm in 00B Light. Um, and that was the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. Um, and like I said, I'm just starting out. So I am going to get a video editor. My videos won't be as long as this one's probably going to be. It's already seven minutes long and I barely got my foundation on. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Um, but I still want it to be enjoyable. And I want you guys to know who I am. I want you guys to like understand who I am and why I'm doing this. And that it's not for like attention or clout. But I want to share my life with you guys. And I want you guys to kind of get a look into a normal normal makeup artist as life it's not all about money and cars and clout like you can be a good influence you can be a good person okay so for my concealer i'm gonna use the maybelline master and conceal camouflage and concealer in light this was like my holy grail okay i love tart shape tape but like i said i'm going to stick to see i have tart shape tape in fair I love it. I do. Like I said, I'm going to try to stick to my drugstore stuff just so anybody who's watching this that may be in the same boat as me, you may have kids, you may be a struggling college student, you may just be, you know, cheap. <laughs> you may just want to get the, what's cheap and get and still look full coverage and pretty and beautiful and feel your best. So I use beauty blenders, by the way, as y'all didn't tell. I do have brushes, but I love my beauty blenders for my base. Um... So anyway, uh, like I was saying, you don't have to do YouTube to for it to be for money. You can do it just because you want to um, reach out to people. You want to be part of a community. You want to be part of something bigger than what's in your home. And I am a stay-at-home mom, and I've always thought that if I could just get into it and get into a schedule of posting and... Here comes one of my kids now. Thomas, go baby. If I could just get into a schedule of, you know, being able to take care of them and at the same time. Thomas, please. No, go to your bathroom. Like I said, this is going to be unfiltered, raw, and real because I don't have a video editor. I cannot cut this stuff out. You can't make it up. So, go Thomas. Justin! Shut the door, Thomas. What? <sighs> Shut my door, baby. Um, and with that concealer, I meant to tell you guys, I'm basically going down my T-zone, concealing any acne scars or acne, brush acne I may not have. Um, I know I'm 30 years old and I still get acne. I don't know. I guess it's just my 
you know, jeans, maybe I just, you know, I do take care of my skin. I do use mask. I do use a charcoal and sugar scrub, which I absolutely love. Um, but any discoloration or anything, this concealer and foundation, they really do cover it up. And it's drugstore. It is not expensive. Milani's a little bit more expensive than, say, Maybelline or um, Maybelline or L'Oreal. I'm so sorry. I just picked my nose. But guess what? Like I said, unfiltered. Um, so I'm going to set my face real quick um, so we can keep going. Uh, I love the Cody Airspun Powder from the drugstore. I use the translucent extra coverage. I love it even though it goes everywhere and it can be quite stinky sometimes. Like if it gets in your lungs, like you will cough to no end. So, but I do love it to set my face. I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques sponge. All these were Real, Real Techniques sponges, by the way. I love Real Techniques. Um, and I'm just going to set everything in place because like I said I am oily combo skin sometimes my skin can get dry um but usually it's oily and usually it likes to slick right off my face so I just go ahead and I set my whole base to make sure it's not going anywhere but at the same time you want to make sure your beauty blender is wet so that when you do put the powder on your face, it doesn't become like a desert. It kind of all melts together. You're not getting this big, you know, thing of powder set on your face and it becomes a desert. You know, you just don't want that dry look. You want to be able to, it to melt in with everything else that's on your face. Um... I remember the first time, you know, it came about that people were going to start start setting their foundation. And I was like, that's just so silly. Why would you set everything like that? But then I started doing it and I was like, you know what? Totally makes sense. Um, I get it, you know? And then my makeup stays on all day long. It's great. It's whatever. So once I set the powder on my face, one extra step I do like to do um, before. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer and everything finish my base and then we'll go to my eyes some people do their eyes first sometimes I do do my eyes first but today I'm doing more of a natural look on my eyes so I'm not really worried about fallout but if you're going to use a colorful palette or going to use something that you're going to be using a lot of black or you're going to be using a lot of heavy colors I would do my eyes first and then do your base but because I'm going to do something more natural today just to introduce myself to you guys I'm going to just do my base first. So I'm going to start with my contour. Um, I'm going to use this um, Makeup Revolution, which is still technically drugstore-ish. You can get it at Ulta. Um, it's a little contour kit. It's really gorgeous. I'm trying not to blind y'all with the mirror. Um, I love the colors. It comes with like setting powders in it too at the top by the highlighter up here. Um, I really think it's pretty. It's natural-esque. Um, it's colors, pretty much colors for... I'd say this is like me light to medium. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah. So I'm gonna grab my little angled wet and wild contour brush. Everything I'm gonna use in this video is basically gonna be drugstore because like I said, I'm gonna do this for the moms that are kind of balling on a budget and and that's what I'm doing anyway. So I'm gonna use this medium color right here because I am pretty fair. Um so a few things about me. Uh I am 30. I told you guys that. Um, I haven't always been into makeup. Um, I am married. Uh, my husband is about 26. He is in heavy equipment and he absolutely loves it. Um, he recently started his own business. Um, with woodwork like he builds decks he built a fence a gate for our backyard or our front our front yard and he's building one for the backyard now he's building me a jewelry box for all my jewelry because I have so much jewelry it does not fit in my little jewelry box so he's um, gonna build me one for like a big it's gonna be like a treasure box and he has a Facebook page for that also it's called Odin Sons uh, handyman work um, and he absolutely loves it. Like, we are doing everything we can to kind of tr show our children that if you have a dream, you have something you want to do, you follow that dream. You, you don't let anybody stop you from that dream. 
Um, and like I said, my oldest is 10, and so he's really getting into um, video games, and he's getting into, you know, g connecting with other people, and I know social media is, isn't far behind. You know, he's going to want a phone. He's going to want... Um, you know, to be connected just like his friends are. And um, I'm really afraid for that, you know, because along with social media and um, Facebook type things comes bullying and comes, you know, people tearing down your spirit. And I don't want that for him. And I don't want him to ever feel like he's not good enough or he's not worth it. So anyway, but... Um, something else about me, I'm going to uh, clean up my contour real quick and then we're going to do blush and highlight. Anyway, something else about me, I have something called uh, lupus. It is a autoimmune disease, so you won't see me with nails, with uh, fake nails. Um, you'll rarely see that if I'm on here, uh, like when I post because my skin on my hands uh, is really, really sensitive. Um, it, I, it can't really handle nail glue, uh, let alone acetone. Um, that was just a clean up a contour, sorry y'all. Um, so it's, I can't really do the fake nail thing and I love fake nail. Like I love getting my nails done. I love getting my toes done and all that, but, um, I just can't. Oh, and to set, to set my contour, I just used the, um, Dulce de Leche, uh, Mega Glow, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow, the light colored side. Um. So anyway, I can't really do anything um, strong on my hands or anything. So I really don't mess around with the fake nails. Sometimes I'll do the um, the little press-on nails. Sometimes, but not really. It's just not my thing. I don't like being uncomfortable. I don't like my hands being uncomfortable. Um, I get sick and I stay sick for a very long time because that's just how my body works. Um, so I'm going to do some uh, blush real quick. I'm going to use the Mellow Wine from Wet n Wild. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite things that uh, Manny MUA uh, showed one time. He was doing drugstore and this was one of the things he showed and I was like, oh my god, that's such a beautiful color and I've loved it ever since. Um, so I'm going to use my Luxie 514 blush brush. And I'm just going to, um, and this is very pigmented. You have to be very careful how much you put on there. Um, and I just kind of put it right above my contour and bring it into my cheeks a little. Just to give some kind of blush color. We don't want, I don't, I personally don't want to look like I'm sunburned. So I try not to put a whole bunch of blush. Just a little color just a little color to get it nice and pretty um and i do have uh instagram i'll have to link all that stuff below because i can't really remember my handle and all that um but i do have an instagram and if you ever feel like you get a little bit too much blush on there like i feel like this one's looking a little too much just blend it all in get it nice and blended So anyway, um, what else can I tell you guys about me? I have a lizard. He's a Savannah monitor right now. He's about three feet long. Um, they get to be about five feet, give or take that snout to the end of their tail. Um, he is, his name's Squid. He is a gorgeous little lizard. I love him so much. Um, so anyway, for my highlight, I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Master Bronze. It's like a quad. Um, I'm going to use the highlight right here on the end. I love it. It's, it's the same formula as their Master Chrome highlighters. And this one is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And I'm going to use my Luxie 660 Precision, Precision Foundation Brush. Um, I like it for highlight. Um, oh, let me stick to my... I was about to use my Urban Decay. I'm going to stick with my Wet n Wild um, Cucumber Setting Spray. And I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to spray my face. Because that's what I was going to do earlier. What I was saying I was before I finished my base. I'm just going to... Use the setting spray. 
uh, set my face, let everything set, and I'm going to highlight. I do like this uh, contour palette, but the issue I have with this is this is too orange. This has shimmer in it. This has shimmer in it. This is matte, but it's too dark for me. So I went through a time where I was using it, and then I realized, why am I so shimmery? Like, this is too, like, my, my contour was shimmery. And I was like, I didn't put a uh, highlight on there. Why am I shimmering so much? And then I realized um, there was shimmer in the bronzer. So that, that made sense. Um, so let's go back to talking about my life. <laughs> um, my parents live uh, here in Georgia with me. So like everybody, pretty much my whole family lives here. A few of my husband's side of his family, they live in Colorado, which is flipping awesome. Like I wish that I could live in Colorado. Um, but, and we may still move there one day, but as of right now, um, we're still Georgians. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows, and for my eyebrows, I'm going to use this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I think it's in, I think this one was taupe, I'm pretty sure. Yep, taupe. So it's taupe, and it's got the spoolie on one end, and then it's like a little pen, pencil, pencil thing. It's not a pen, it's a pencil. I'm going to use a little pencil side, and we're going to fill in, and we're going to um, just get our brows done. Um, so anyway, uh, trying to keep my attention on the makeup and talking at the same time. So I grew up here. Um, my mom and dad are not together, but my dad is remarried. Um, my mom is a police officer. She works for a, uh, sheriff's department. I'm not going to give specifics. I just feel like that's a little dangerous. Um, just with whatnot, all the stuff that's going on with the police officers nowadays. So... Um, but she's a great police officer. She does great work. I worry about her constantly because, you know, everything that's going on with the world, I don't want her ever being put in more danger than she already is in um, going to work every day. So, but she is an amazing person. She's an amazing police officer. She does protect us and... I can't thank her enough for that. Um, just like everybody who's in the military and I can't thank them enough. I don't understand how people can respect people who are first responders or um, in the military that they put their lives on hold and they go over and they fight wars for us and we get to sit here and make makeup videos or we get to sit here and play video games. Like this, this is, they're making this possible. You don't, you don't, disrespect somebody who's making it possible for you to be free and live your life how you want to live it so that's just my outlook on it and um it's crazy but anyway so another reason why I thought it was time to start uploading and start getting involved is there's been a lot of drama and scandals in the beauty community and I feel like not enough of us little people get to get our opinion out there and I feel like a bunch of like the drama channels and just other YouTubers that just don't say anything like bigger YouTubers who don't say anything about the scandals like we don't even know like some of our opinions just go they get passed by in the comments and I leave comments all the time and and nobody ever really sees my comments I'm just a normal person you know so I was like you know what it's time for me to get on and let my comments truly be heard so when it comes to a few things, I'm not kind of up to date on everything, but I'm going to talk about the things I'm interested in and that I have an opinion on. So when it comes to the Jaclyn Hill scandal, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone is going to be super confident in something and it's going to fail. Uh, that I've done it. Uh, I think I've done it more than once. Uh, I think I've done it more than twice. I've been super confident in my decision in something, um, and and at the end of the day, it didn't work out. Um, you cannot put a YouTuber like Jacqueline on a pedestal and expect her not to fail because that's not fair. She is a human being, and like she said, she does struggle with anxiety, and that is not a cop-out. 
because she has always said she had anxiety from the very beginning back when she said she was on food stamps and all that which nobody knows the truth about that that is not anybody's business but her own and she put it out there yes but that doesn't mean you go dig up her records like that's not that's not okay she's still a human and I think people forget that because she is a CEO now and she's been on YouTube so long it's like people feel entitled to her life that's something that's never I'm never going to allow like yes I'm gonna put my life on YouTube and I want to be a part of it but I'm not gonna let anybody dictate what I do and how I do my life like I'm going to love my fans or friends or whatever we are on here but nobody's going to tell me how to live my life like that's not fair that's not we are all humans nobody's above anyone nobody owes anybody anything that's that's not how it works so with Jacqueline I did see her new video and I feel like she could have said a lot more and I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like oh she just you know she's just trying to come back she wanted to post that other video so she came back and just said something um, no she wanted to come back and clear the air before she did post another video because if she would have posted another video and not come back and cleared the air, then everybody would have been like, oh, she, we knew it. She just came back and didn't say anything. She's acting like nothing ever happened. No, she wanted to say something. She wanted to clear the air. She wanted to let everybody know what was going on. I think I would have done it about the same. I mean, I would have been super embarrassed. I think anybody in that position would have been embarrassed. It's a scary situation, especially when people were getting cuts and getting, you know, hurt and all that. So, um, I just feel like we got to remember she's human. She's human. She has to, she has to do the same things we do. She wipes her ass the same way. She gets sick. She throws up the same way. You know, we're all the same. So today I'm going to use my Modern Renaissance by uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to just kind of do a natural um, look. I'm not trying to do anything dramatic, but I wanted to do something while I talked to you guys. So I thought I'd play with my makeup. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, she she is human she's human we can't sit here and pretend she's not um i am glad she's back i'm glad she's going to be posting again i'm glad she made it through because that was a really really rough situation I, I don't even know what i would do in that situation and people who have so many opinions about it i think at the end of the day they're forgetting they're talking about people these people have to go home and they have to get in the bed just like us and they have to lay there that night and they have to think about all the stuff that people have said about them on the internet like Oh, she's a scam artist or she did this and she did that. No, she put a product out. It was messed up. It was faulty. Yes, she should have recalled it, but she didn't. And she refunded everyone. And that's just as good as recalling it, except she, and not everything was returned. And people should either throw it out or return it. But I, sorry, I'm digging my nose. My nose is running. And I've told you guys it's going to be uncut and real. <laughs> Oh my God, my nose is running so bad. Like in Georgia, we have the worst like pollen. Even in the summertime, it's like dirt and pollen just like goes in your nose. Um, anyway, so I'm going to start with raw sienna as my transition color. It's this color right here. Um, and I'm using a scone blending brush. It doesn't have a number. It just says scone blending brush. So anyway, with her, it's just crazy. But anyway. And what's funny is every time there's a new scandal, it's like everybody forgets about all the other scandals that are happening around them. Like, you know, just a few months ago before the Jaclyn Hill scandal, um, there was J the James Charles scandal. And with the James Charles scandal, I missed that crease in my nose. That's okay. Um, with the James Charles scandal, it was so, so, so big and so important and people were saying how he needed to be put in jail and he was this and he was that. And it was all by word of mouth. Like it was, people were either believing James or they were believing the waiter. And the waiter ended up to be a liar. And then the other guy, Gage, and all the other people, like they were just lying. They wanted clout. And that's the issue and the, the problem with today's society if you're not getting followers if you're not going to Coachella if you're not driving a Benz you're not relevant that's not 
fair. That's not what our children need to grow up thinking makes you worthy. Like, it's pretty much like the old days where there was a king and queen or a prince and princess and we put those people up on pedestals and you know they were worshipped that's how we do with these superstars or big youtubers or you know whatever celebrities we put them on this pedestal and we make them seem like they're they're better than us but in all reality they're humans they're humans just like us they bleed the same way we do they eat the same way we do they breathe the same way we do like you're putting all these people on a pedestal that are just humans that have a little bit more money and drive a, a Tesla like if you so because I don't drive a Tesla I'm not relevant I'm not worthy of views or friends or whatever no that's not fair that's not fair to these other makeup artists who are out here pushing and grinding and putting out content left and right and they're getting the views but they're not getting the clout because they're not in a scandal or they're not getting this or they're not getting that. I just feel like it's so stupid and my children are not gonna ever think that they're irrelevant because they don't do stupid stupid crap or because they don't videotape everything in their life and put it on the internet. Given I am sitting here making a makeup video for YouTube that doesn't mean that my whole world is going to revolve around it. Yes, I want to give you guys content and I want to go, I want you guys to have like a look into my life because it's really hard being a mother of four who's a stay-at-home mom and I rely solely on my husband to provide for us. It's hard and in I don't want to say it's it's so hard that, you know, oh, we're you know, we're homeless. We're not we are lucky to have the home we're in. We're lucky to have family that we have. We're lucky to have help that we have. Um, and I'll be honest, we, we are on food stamps, but we need that extra help right now. And maybe one day I'll get to the point where I don't have to be on food stamps and Medicaid. And I really hope that I get to that point in my life one day. But for right now, I need that extra help. And Everybody goes through that point in time where they need that extra help. Um, without my dad's kind of push to like do this, because he, he feels like I'm talented enough to do this. He feels like I have the personality to do this. Without his push, I wouldn't have done this. Like I wouldn't have started posting. What? Probably in the bed. Sorry, my son's looking for my daughter's mask. But... Um, I just feel like I, I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have had the courage to do this. And I shouldn't feel so scared to put a video on the internet of me doing my makeup. Something I do every once in a while just to make myself feel better. I shouldn't feel so scared to do that because of rejection or because of how many other better MUAs there are out there on, on YouTube. I should be comfortable in this community because it is a beauty community. It is for all of us. It's not just for people who have a hundred thousand followers it's also for me and my friends who we might just follow each other but we're interested in each other's makeup looks that's why i made my facebook makeup page because my friends love makeup and they're scared to go live on their regular page so i made a group so that they could go live in my group and feel safe and not feel like they're going to be bullied or antagonized or or picked on because they they do their makeup different from someone else that's not fair. That's not the kind of world I want my children to live in. Um, and I know that I can't change the world in one day or with one video. But like I hope that anybody who sees my videos or, or hears what I'm saying realizes that everyone you talk to on the internet, they're not just a circle with a picture. They're a whole human being behind that circle and picture. What you say and what you mean when you say it and how you say it it gets across to that whole other human. Not just that little bubble you're looking at with that picture. It's not just that girl smiling. It's that girl sitting behind the keyboard. She could be 14, she could be 34. If you sit there and you call her ugly or fat or say, hey, you need to get some work done, you're looking a little old, or hey, you need a boob job, you're 20 with no tits. Like, that's not fair. That's not fair, it's not for you to say. If you don't have anything to say, nice to say, you don't say anything at all. We were all taught that in kindergarten, probably before kindergarten. My grandma taught me that when I was like five. But 
or four. So like I said, there's always somebody behind that phone, behind that screen, behind that keyboard. There's somebody there. And just like us, there are the, the people that are at the top of the game, the beauty community, the video game community, whatever community it may be, they are all humans. They all have to go to bed at night and think about everything they see about themselves online. I just don't get the, the gossip. I don't get the, you know, I get being like wanting to know what's going on and being informed. Like, um, I watch Rick's Lu Rich Lux, and I think he's hilarious in the viewer's voice. I think they're both, I think they give an honest opinion. Like they say, they're just their opinions. Um, they're giving their opinions on things, and I, I really like them. I really like the way they put things across because they're not trying to be a-holes. They're just trying to have a good time. They're trying to get the news across in a funny way and also try to like get their opinions across in a good way and not like a harsh way. So anyway, let me get let me get to my next color because I'm just kind of sitting here running my mouth. Um, I'm gonna go in with Real Gar, which is this red, reddish right here. Um, so anyway, I hope that like what I'm saying kind of gets across. Like I'm not just rambling on for nothing. I'm putting this right in my crease, by the way. Um, I hope it comes across as what I'm trying to say, like what I'm actually trying to say. Um, and not just what I'm like meaning to say because it's hard it's life is hard life is hard for everyone but if we forget that the ones we're picking on the ones that we're judging so harshly if we forget they're also humans then we dehumanize them in a big way and that pedestal when it falls it falls hard and that's what happened with Jacqueline Everybody forgot she was a human, not just the CEO, not